My name's Olivia and I'm a bishop in the Church of England. There probably isn't anyone watching this whose life hasn't been affected by COVID. Some of us through actually losing a friend or family member, some of us because of the effect it's had on jobs and future plans, our education and training, some of us because our lives have simply become unbearably stressful, juggling homeworking, childcare, homeschooling, dealing with isolation and loneliness, living with fear, working on the front line. COVID has turned our world upside down. And although we have all been impacted by COVID, it hasn't affected us all equally. It's hugely increased the inequalities in our society and those who are already most disadvantaged are now more so. And very sadly, those from black and ethnic minority communities have been particularly hard hit by the virus. As Christians, we follow Jesus Christ and the things he taught us about how to live. Our churches may not all look the same. We may belong to many different branches of the worldwide body of Christ, but this is the thing on which we all agree. And one of Jesus's key messages, one that we share with many other faith groups, was that we should love one another, that we should be good neighbours to each other. We have to do everything in our power in these difficult times to look out for and look after each other. And that means doing everything to stop COVID from spreading. We of course know that washing our hands, wearing a mask, keeping distance are all really important. But one of the best and fastest routes out of this terrible pandemic is to get vaccinated. By doing this, we'll loosen the grip which the virus has on us and speed up the time when we can be together again with our families and friends and co-workers in person. Taking the vaccine won't just protect us, it will protect them too, because it will slow the spread of the virus right down. Getting vaccinated is a sign of our love for one another, and each needle in an arm is a sign of hope. Now I know that there are some fears and anxieties about the vaccine, and that some people are concerned or confused about whether to take it. It's new and it's natural to have questions, but there is also a lot of misinformation out there and it's doing tremendous damage. These vaccines have been approved by our stringent regulation system. They've been robustly tested by some of the world's best scientists and healthcare experts. So if you've got hesitations, don't just ignore them. Contact your GP or pharmacist. They'll be able to talk this through with you. Vaccines are an amazing medical discovery. They've been protecting us for generations. They've helped us almost to eradicate diseases like polio, which used to cripple millions around the world. And as people of faith, we need to be full of joy that we have this protection on offer against coronavirus, which will save lives and give hope to our communities. I was hugely grateful to be offered a vaccination at very short notice recently from the end of the day stock at our local centre, and I just dropped everything and went off to get it. Please, please, if you are also offered one, just get there and take it. It will protect us and it'll be a sign of love and hope to our neighbours and our communities. If we all do this, we can beat this virus. We can and we will, for love's sake.